Yo, what's up, Skittle Squad? This is Kelvin here, and today we're back again with another Dungeon Quest video. And in this video, I'm gonna showcase all the brand new skills that is out for the brand new dungeon, Steampunk Sewers. Of course, there's gonna be a possibly legendary skills to talk about, so make sure you guys stay tuned for the entire video. But before I begin, make sure you smash that like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And without further ado, let's get this party started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right here, I am wearing a full warrior set that's called an industrial set. It's definitely not the best set out there, but I do want to showcase all the nine skills that are currently out for Dungeon Quest and maybe even talk about a very secret one as well. But let's start off with the nine basic skills that did come out. We're going to start off with warrior skills. All right, so the first two skills I'm going to show off to you guys. I'm going to click inventory is the first one, Star Barrage. It's an insane skill. Shoots four six stars, dealing damage to all enemies in front of you. Scales with physical power. Of course, we're talking about warriors right here. And the second skill you can grab from insane is Arrow Rain. Calls down a rain of arrows and gives you a movement speed boost. Also scales with physical power. All right, guys, both of these skills, you can grab from Insane. It's really darn good if you just started off with a brand new dungeon. Starting off with the star skill and bam, bam, bam. It does around three, four, five, six, seven ticks, and I'm doing dishing out 3.7 billion damage. Trust me, guys, when I'm telling you all these numbers right now, do not compare them with the mage ones that I'm going to give you guys later. Since I'm a warrior main, there's no reason to freak out over doing very little, much less little damage when it comes to me transferring to a mage and trying to showcase those skills. Anyways, the next one is Arrow Rain, which you throw down quite a bit of AoE damage and you get some speed bonus too. Since the cooldown is 4 seconds and the rain kind of stays for 3, there's really only a second cooldown in between. It's a very good skill. The only thing lacking between this is the range. So this skill specifically is kind of like the Mighty Leap in Ghastly Harbors, guys. So there you go. There's your speed skill right there. Alrighty, and then the next two skills I want to showcase to you right now is going to be the Chained Energy Blast. This one is a nightmare skill. It smashes the ground, creating energy blasts forward and scales with physical power. Then the next skill I'm going to showcase to you is the Triple Blade Throw. Throws three spinning blades forward, which comes back shortly, dealing damage twice. Also scales with physical power. Let's go try this out. Throwing my first skill out there. There we go. I keep forgetting the name for this. What is it again? Chain Energy Blast. This is the, one of the best worry skills so far. And you guys should really, really give this a try. Because it does this shout. Three circle that does pulsing damage. If you guys remember Electric Slides, Renting Slash. This is very similar to it in terms of concept. Even though it looks very different. So definitely give this skill once again a try. Alright, the next skill I'm going to show you guys is... The Triple Blade Throw. Yeah, I keep forgetting these names because they're new to me. So I always go back to clicking to them. Triple Blade Throw. So this skill is kind of like the King's Castle Throwing Knife skill, but it's times three now. So in my point of view, it's a little bit of a lazy design, but at the same time, it's a revamped version of an old school skill that you might like very much. All right, and with that being the case, guys, that is pretty much it for Warrior skill so far. I'm going to show you guys mage skills. Once again, guys, do not freak out over my lack of damage as a mage since I did not main a mage. You're pretty much just taking a look at these skills and seeing which of these are good. And I'll give you suggestions on which one you should be using and where to get them. And here we are, everybody, as a mage right now. I'm going to showcase the four skills, two of them from Insane, two of them from Nightmare, that the mage is going to main. Of course, there's going to be one more on top of that since VKP announced that we have nine skills. Anyways, the two skills I have equipped right now are both from Insane Dungeons. The first one is Pulse Wave, fires multiple energy waves outwards and gains a movement speed boost, which is, once again, very similar to Mighty D, very similar to Smite. Then the other skill I'm going to be showcasing is the Starfall. Calls down stars to crash into all nearby enemies. Scales with spell power. Once again, guys, this is mage, and obviously they're going to scale with spell power. So let's start with the post wave, everybody. So a post wave right here, it does this purple kind of effect, and you gives you, and it gives you a really good speed boost. So you kind of get to use this and run around. Once again, make note of all these speed skills because they're going to be useful for you to do speed runs in the future. And then the next cool skill is Starfall. Let's see how much damage we're going to do here. Not bad, of course. Once again, I am not a mage. It's going to be tough. I did 700 million damage, and my mage set right now is clean, and there's nothing in terms of upgrades on it. It's a pretty good skill in AoE damage that doesn't do a lot of spike, though. Huh, I don't think it does. 
And now for the next two skills in Nightmare. So the first skill I'm going to show you is called the Chromatic Rain. It really looks like a Skittle Squad inspired skill, doesn't it? A big, nice rainbow. It creates a chromatic beam around you, dealing damage to all enemies within a range. Scales with spell power, of course. Then the next skill is Overcharge. Overcharge all nearby enemies with energy, causing them to take damage over time. So it does take in dot damage, which is really, really nice, guys. And both of these skills are obtained in Nightmare. So let's try and start up with the Skittle Squad inspired skill. All right, Chromatic Rain. Is Chromatic Rain? Is that really the name? Yes, it is, guys. I keep forgetting these names. All right, there we go. Start it off. It is gorgeous. Look at those colors going in. It's not the best damage, but it is a rain attack, so it does a lot of a lot of bursts, a lot of skills, a lot of damage. Yeah, that's what I think. No movement speed here, though, guys. No movement speed. And now let's go for the overcharge. So this is the one we charge once. It does give like electric shocks to your enemies and does damage over time. It's a really cool skill, but to be honest, my favorite mage skill here is definitely the chromatic rain and if i had to suggest a skill for you guys right now as a mage on uh, which is the best one from my point of view guys and i want to say my point of view take this with a grain of salt i'm not a mage main that skill is probably going to be chromatic rain i don't know why they didn't really come up with too many range skills for the mage in this update so this is the best you got to be honest and i guess if you had to really come down to ask me which class has an advantage when it comes to this new dungeon i'm probably gonna tell you warriors because warriors can actually do some range damage like from far away like a projectile while the mages are quite limited today and here we go for the final skill everybody this is the skill that every tank every healer has been waiting for for such a long time and the name of this skill is life dash it gains the movement speed and heals all your teammates around you and scales with spell power. So this is a skill that is going to help tanks catch up to their teammates while being able to heal, while being able to catch up, while being able to be useful and speedy at the same time. They can literally do speed runs with teammates and heal on the go. So let's try this out, guys. So I do a heal. It's a green burst and I'm posting green heals. The cooldown is short. The speed movement is great. So really, really, VCAFI is doing all the healers a great favor right now. Really adding this in, incorporating this into the game. People are really, really going to like this, guys. All the tanks are really happy today and they've been cheering all night long. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's time to talk about that secret skill. So as many of you guys already noticed, if you guys go check on the dungeon quest, front page right now you know you can notice in the update notes down below big happy announced nine new abilities now there's something you need to be very concerned about because a lot of us do have confidence in another dirt party twitter account which leaks out dungeon quest stuff which is dq leaks since dq leaks has been pretty resourceful when it came to this specific update especially we want to check out on what they were announcing and if you guys go to leak gang one of the tweets I think images, web pages, I don't really know what to call them. And you guys scroll all the way down, you can notice that there are 10 skills involved. Every one of these skills is spot on, right? But there's this additional skill as well, Vengeful Rebirth. We had not had a chance to pick this up. I have been trying on stream with my elite squad and we could not possibly find the skill. But if you guys also remember one of B Cappy's most recent leaks as well, this wonderful skill right here that he displayed a few days ago, none of the nine I showed you is this specific skill. Now, what are we wondering here? Why did VCAFI show this skill off? Why are we unable to grab the skill? So going back to DQ Leaks once again, guys, there's one skill right here that I haven't showed you guys, and that's the Fengeful Rebirth. So hopefully that specific skill can link to Fengeful Rebirth, and maybe this might be that one skill, that hidden gem we don't know about yet. And if you're not convinced, let me show you guys a little bit more information. And we're on the Cappy's Discord right now, Dungeon Quest Discord. If you look at the most and latest new update announcements, you know that every single thing you've seen on the front page has been announced here, except for one line, two lines, three lines, really. If you can read it, I'll read it for you, of course. I was supposed to release with a new feature which i plan on adding yes i decided to push the new dungeon alone instead of delaying that with the new feature i will keep you all updating on the progress so it seems like vcafi wanted to push something out along with this dungeon but he didn't do it yet 
A lot of us think it's a Halloween lobby, but that's a very obvious thing. We know Blacksmith has been streaming it this whole time. It's no secret to us. Now that I think about it, it's possible that there's going to be legendary skills. And if you guys look at all my skills, I'm going to click inventory right here. None of these skills has ever reached legendary status. But that specific skill could really be that one skill that is going to give us legendary status. Maybe it's going to work on physical power and spell power as well. Maybe it's going to be that new thing that you might have to do a quest for, things like that for. And guys, I'm definitely super stoked. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the brand new skill right here. Is it going to be a legendary skill? Are we going to be required to do a quest on it? It's going to be something really innovative, renovating, insane for us. Alright, so at this point, it marks the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy it, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Until we play again next time. Peace out, y'all.